buffaloes I want to rule a plane I like the vultures Circling beneath the dark clouds Looking for the rain Looking for the rain Just like the Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Naseem here, aka Seem the Dream, aka Nas Tech, and today I will be giving you guys my final analysis on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, I've been using the iPhone 12 Pro Max for about two weeks now, and you guys, I have a confession it ain't that pro. And even though there were a lot of things that I really liked about this device, there were many things that just had me scratching my head thinking about how expensive it is. And every single day that I was with this device, it just like, it just wasn't making sense to me how they were charging, you know, this crazy amount for a device that is almost exactly the same. And I'm not talking about the iPhone 12 Pro, I'm talking about the iPhone 12. And don't get me wrong, you guys, this is a great phone, but it starts to get a little less and less great whenever I compare it to, you know, the other iPhones in the iPhone 12 lineup and the fact that it costs well over $1,100. And don't get me wrong, you guys, this is a great phone, but whenever I think of, you know, the fact that it is very comparable to not just the iPhone 12 Pro, but the iPhone 12, while also be charged over $1,100, and that's when I just start to lose, you know, more and more love for this phone because they're basically selling us the same phone, but a little bigger, but $200 more. And something that it really reminds me of, like in the past, you know, with the headphone jack, the charger brick, you know, just multiple things. It just reminds me of Apple's shady business practices. But to extend further on my complaints, the fact that the camera was really good but it was very comparable to the iPhone 12, again I say, had really just frustrated me. Because like I said, this is a pro device. And not only is it a pro device, but it also has an extra camera on the back. So you would think that the quality would be much better, even though I know that the third camera isn't for that, but still you would think that in the pro version, they would just make everything a little bit better. And these are the things that I do not like about the pro series as a whole because ever since apple has started the pro series i feel like it has made them you know much more lazier if i should say like in all honesty they really haven't upgraded their phones that much ever since they started the pro series and like i said in my past video all they would do is you know just add something super super minor but still charge you much more money for that pro feeling and it's like yeah for the past couple phones They've just been riding that, you know, three camera wave thinking that, you know, aha, we're giving you something that really is, you know, an improvement. But at the end of the day, these phones have had three cameras for, you know, multiple phones. So what, what else new do you guys have to offer? It has the same A14 processor as the lower tier devices. It has no new features from the lower tier devices. And not only that, they don't even give you special items that come with, you know, other top tier flagship phones. You know, things like a fast charger or free case, you know, just like with the OnePlus 8T, which isn't even a top flagship phone, but they still include things like that. So again, what is pro about this device? I will keep asking that until they give me an answer. And last but not least, the final thing that I had a problem with when it came to the iPhone 12 Pro Max was, you guessed it, the notch. And like I said, whether iPhone makes their phones bigger, medium sized or smaller, I still want you guys to get rid of the notch for the simple fact that when you have a smaller phone, it takes up space. So you know with a smaller screen, you need as much screen real estate as you can get. But when it comes to, you know, the bigger displays, you know, you really still want as much screen real estate as possible to get the most out of your money with the beautiful big display. And at this point, I have been complaining for so long to the point where the notch is just truly getting ugly. Because like I said before, every company that had it 
they abandoned it because they knew that it was just a fad. But Apple in 2020 is still carrying it along with them with no worries. And all right, you guys, now that I am done venting on my dislikes and you know just why I really don't like the Pro Series lineup and why I feel like it should be just dismantled and abandoned, you know, locked away in a cage forever. Let's talk about some of the things that I really liked about the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And what better way to start than to talk about the size. And besides the notch taking up the screen, I really did love the size of the display. You know, whenever I was on YouTube or I was just on Instagram, that huge display really did catch my eye and just how bright the screen was, how colorful it looked. You know, the whole display was just truly a work of art. And like I said, without the notch, it would have been 10 out of 10. But because it has a notch, I'll give it, you know, around 8.5. And also something that I really loved about the iPhone 12 Pro Max, that is also very identical to the iPhone 12, is the camera. And in my opinion, it still has the best smartphone camera of 2020. The image stabilization was amazing for this camera. And as you guys can see here, I have taken some pics to show you exactly how this camera really is. And last but not least, the final thing that I loved about the iPhone 12 Pro Max was just how smooth it was. And to be honest, you guys, I must admit, that was really the only thing that really gave me the pro feeling. And not just the smoothness making things feel more pro, but also, you know, things like the matte finish, just the cameras on the back. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it really is more of a feeling when it comes to the pro devices. You know, the iPhone 12 Pro just gives you that feeling of elegance, status, you know, importance. It just gives you that, that great feeling and that's where the pro I guess comes from because if we're talking about specs, innovation, you know, etc., the pro is that is just left hanging. Put it in the cage, lock it away, like I said. And when it comes to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think every iPhone in the pro lineup is genuinely a psychological thing and it is really about feeling. Because see what Apple is good at doing, they're really good at you know using their brand to make people feel a certain way. Like realistically, the iPhones aren't the best phone, you know, no matter if you put pro behind it or anything. But it's just that feeling of you know status, elegance, professionalism that the phones in the pro lineup give you and you know throughout my day-to-day -day use with this device I was just honestly thinking of myself and really being honest with myself and asking myself what is pro about this device and that's the conclusion that I've come up with Apple is great at making people feel like this is pro instead of it actually in reality being pro but my final analysis on the iPhone 12 Pro is you definitely should skip this phone. Now, don't get me wrong, if you have money to blow and you feel like flexing, this phone is definitely for you. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad phone at all, but if you really want to get your money's worth, I would suggest going with the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 mini. And if you guys like my final analysis on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, show as much support to the channel as you can. It's very appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.